Pretty hard to describe. Your friend is a legend, but you can't help it with Marie. Under the Wire tells the story of Marie Colvin, one of this country's most respected war correspondents. Oh my God. She came to die at what many say was a deliberate attack on international journalists by the Assad regime. I want to tell the stories of each person. In 2012, in the early stages of Syria's civil war, Marie and photojournalist Paul Conroy stayed to cover the siege of Homs by the Assad regime. As civilians and rebels were indiscriminately shelled, the media center housing them and other journalists was, eyewitnesses say, specifically and methodically targeted. Paul Conroy, who survived the attack, spoke to me before the film screening in London tonight. We'd just gone into the main room in the media centre and I had two huge explosions about 100 metres either side. And I was like, poof. And about less than a minute later, two more huge explosions, 50 metres. And at that point, I knew that this was quite precise location and they were bracketing and walking the shells onto our building. Um, and a minute after that, they, we took four direct hits on the building. Dozens of Syrians were killed that day. And Marie Colvin, along with a French colleague, both of whom had made a conscious decision to stay in Homs to bear witness to what was happening to trap civilians, died. Kat Colvin, Marie's sister, told me why the family have brought a case against President Assad for her murder. What do you say to those arguments that say that trying to bring Assad to court for this is, is futile? One main reason is I don't want the Syrian people to think we've forgotten them, which of course um, they've got a feel and they're, I want them to know that my family appreciates their respect for Marie. Under the Wire is being released six years after Marie Colvin's death, and yet it remains horrifyingly relevant. A Syria's war now reaches an end point, just like these scenes in Homs in 2012. Assad's forces are about to launch the assault on the final rebel area, Idlib. But this time, unlike Homs, there will be no journalists to bear witness. This will happen in the dark, and, and this is these tyrants, these regimes love to work in the dark. You know, and that's what Marie did well. She shone light into them dark places. Ragiomar, News at 10.